Welcome to my channel. This is my completed Turbion project. Let's listen to a tick for a while. In my previous videos, I showed how I made a great many of the parts. Here, I'll show you some other things which were needed to finish the project up. Here, I'm making the arbor, which will fit through the mainspring barrel. It must also be sized at the top and bottom to interface with bearings of different sizes, as well as to interface with the handle used to wind up the turbion. I'm cutting the stainless steel rod to the correct dimensions. Not shown on camera, after the lathe, I used a Dremel with a small grinding disc to grind a flat surface onto the rod. This allows the rod to correctly interface with the Hermley No. 50 mainspring barrel which I'm using. Here, I'm testing to see how well the Hermley No. 50 gear teeth interface with the pinion and gear I cut. It works quite well. I don't have any technical details or drawings of the Hermley mainspring, but I estimate they are using modulus 0.75 for their teeth. Here I'm testing an additional gear. Look how nicely it spins. Here's a ratchet wheel I cut using my CNC mill. It is press fit onto the barrel of the Hermley mainspring. Well, hammer fit really. I use a slightly tapered end mill to cut out the bore of the ratchet to facilitate this. This thing is never going to come off. My final test here, with all the arbors and gear trained in place. Note the gear towards the top of the final, thickest arbor was a mistake, uh, but it does serve the purpose of preventing upward vertical movement of the arbor, or indeed the entire heart of the turbion. Here's the almost finished turbio. There's a slight problem though. Every once in a while, you can hear it pause temporarily. Listen carefully. Again, looking at the gear train, listen carefully. There's a slight delay in the ticking, and in fact, sometimes the turbion even stops. This is unacceptable.
I was able to trace the problem to the escape wheel. The one on the left, I marked the defective tooth with a sharpie with a little black dot. The escapement wheel on the right is a new escapement wheel, which I made to replace the old one. Notice how the light bends slightly differently on the left gear for the tooth marked with the black dot. When cutting the tabs off of this part, I did slightly bend the, a tooth, and I hammered it back into place, but the must have changed the geometry of the tooth enough to become a problem. The new escapement wheel on the right works just fine. In the future, I'll surely make the escapement wheel from steel instead of aluminum, not only for lower friction against brass, but to make tooth geometry a little more rugged. And here's the finished project. If you listen closely, you can hear the beat is fairly regular. Here's a graph of the period with respect to time. The turbio was wound as hard as I could turn the key by hand. Because I plan to use this design to power some cloud projects, the next step is to make sure it is accurate. So I wound it up, put a microphone on it, and recorded it for several hours. When the mainspring is wound, it gives more and more force. It is most certainly not a constant force spring. The turbio is not completely asynchronous. The greater the force, Yes, the greater the amplitude, obviously, but more subtly, the frequency is also affected by the force applied. As the mainspring wears down, it will provide less force, and the frequency and amplitude will both decrease. As you can see in the graph, there is a region where the period is stable. The oscillation frequency does not appear to be greatly affected when torque within the span is provided. So in my future designs, I'll design a few C's such that the torque provided to the turbion is always the same no matter how wound the mainspring is. I estimate that if I can keep the torque of this band, I can get the turbion within 10 seconds variation per day. And this concludes my first project. I hope you enjoyed it. While I have no shortage of project ideas on my own, feel free to let me know in the comments what sort of projects you'd like to see. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks!